Hey Crush, here's your video for the week. Um, quick announcements, one, remember the January challenge starts uh, on the C2 bikes this coming Monday. We have the Bring a Friend week on January 23rd. This week also starts the open gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays from five to eight and the Barbell Club um, from six to 7.30 on Wednesdays. There's a 10 person cap on that class. So if you wanna join at, or if you wanna attend uh, RSVP, that'll be on Zen Planner. Um, if you don't get in, you can still do the barbell program here during open gym. There's still open gym on, on Sundays from 10 to noon. You can do it then. Um, same with aerobic capacity. That's when you can do that stuff. We'll see how it goes. We'll let this go for a few weeks. We see if we need to add time. We see what I, the, my biggest concern, honestly, um, is that it impacts the CrossFit crush, the class itself. We don't want to impact the CrossFit class. Um, if it goes well, maybe we'll add some time, make it more, make more classes, whatever. We'll see how it goes. And this is my first, my first uh, dabble into using this space back here for what I hope to use it for, which is for open gym time, barbell club. Hope to use it for that stuff. Um, we'll just see how it goes and, um, and play it by ear from there. But that starts this week. Uh, I'm over here today because I want to talk about the 10 general, general physical skills. I know these are all backwards on the camera here, um, but we have a lot of new people. So I'm just going to really quickly talk about what is CrossFit and in, in not in CrossFit's terms, um, but why we kind of do some of the things we do. You know, we've had I've had some people ask me about the aerobic capacity stuff. Should they do that? And how should they do the Olympic lifting stuff? And, and I say, well, I, wh what's your goal? If your goal is to get better at Olympic lifting, you should do the Ole classes. You don't necessarily need to do the aerobic capacity. I'm not doing this programming, this powerlifting programming, the aerobic capacity programming, and the Olympic lifting programming, because I think everybody should do that stuff. I'm doing it because I think some people want to bias their training with those activities. They want to get better at the aerobic capacity, so they want to do that stuff. They want to get better at the snatch, so they're going to want to do that stuff. Um, I don't think we need to do it. If you want to be a well-rounded person, a uh, human that can be active, you should just do CrossFit. The 10 general physical skills here. The 10 general physicals, this is what we need to do to be good at anything active. Let's talk about some people that are, are fit, right? A lot of people, the first person that comes to mind when they talk about, they, they think about fitness, they think about like a triathlete or a marathon runner, somebody that runs a long ways. That's great. They have really good um, endurance. The bottom one down, really good endurance. They probably don't have a lot of this other stuff. They're actually they're probably not very flexible. They're not very strong. They don't have a lot of kind of stuff. That's a very small part of fitness. What's another part of fitness? Let's say um, power lifters. Some people might look at power lifters and say, Those are, they're fat. They're not fit. They don't have any fitness. They sure are really, really strong. And uh, they have a lot of power. They have that. Sure, they don't have the endurance. Maybe uh, Olympic, Olympic weightlifters, right? Some of those Olympic lifters are definitely strong and powerful. And you'd be really surprised at how coordinated and some of the flexibility and stuff that they have as well. Um, gymnasts, same thing. But gymnasts might not have the endurance. They might not have the, they might not have the stamina. They're built for like a three-minute type uh, uh, routine, right? Um, basketball players. There's all kinds of people that exhibit various parts of fitness, right? Yoga, really good for flexibility. But again, you're probably not going to build a whole lot of power and strength doing yoga. So what is CrossFit? CrossFit is we're trying to be good at all of those things. We're trying to be... I don't want I, I should say we want to be want to be okay at all of those things. We want to be um, if someone wants to help us move, we can move. If someone wants to run a 5K, we can run a 5K. If we want to go coach our kids basketball team, we can go coach our kids basketball team. The point of CrossFit is that we're doing some endurance stuff, we're doing some strength stuff, we're doing some power stuff, we're doing some coordination stuff, some flexibility stuff. We're doing a little bit of all of it. We're not a specialty. A marathon runner is a very specialized person. Uh, a powerlifter is a very specialized person. Um, they all are very, they, they exhibit a different kind of fitness, but they exhibit part of fitness. And so if we can kind of take pieces of all of that stuff and incorporate it in ourselves, then we become a well-rounded individual and whatever life throws at us, we're prepared for the unknown and the unknowable. That's what CrossFit is, being prepared for the unknown and unknowable. If, you know, you want to run a Spartan race, you need to be able to pull yourself up on something. We can do that kind of stuff. Um, we can run the distances because we do run. We do the aerobic stuff. So that is kind of what is CrossFit. If you want to tell your friends what is CrossFit, it's just preparing yourself 
in a way of fitness that you're prepared for whatever life throws at you. Um, not trying to be the strongest person in the, in the room, not trying to be the fastest, not trying to be the one that can run the farthest, but I bet you, um, you know, like you're stronger than a marathon runner. You can run farther than a power lifter. There's just, that's, that is what, what is CrossFit. And I, I just felt like I should have a video on that because that might be something that you might have people ask you about why you do, why we do what we do in here, why we do the various things. And that's why the, the classes are so varied and so, I don't, I don't, they're not random because I program pretty far in advance, but that's why we do what we do and why it's so different. So hopefully that helps if anybody ever asks you what is CrossFit. Um, so just on to the weekly workouts. So the first workout of the week is thanks to Sean McCarthy. It's a, uh, a lot of hand or a lot of wall walks and deadlifts. It's like an escalating ladder of wall walks and deadlifts. Oh no, I have to sign in. Hold on. I'm getting there. Sorry, my Zen planner timed out just as I was doing this. So I don't know, Tuesday's workout. Tuesday's workout is um, kind of a play on the CrossFit Games. We did the CrossFit Games workouts. Um, this one's gonna be like um, sh longer intervals of rowing and biking, one or the other. And then if you're doing the, if you're doing the rowing, it's gonna be shoulder overhead in the, into a window. And if you do the bike, it's gonna be squats. Um, everybody will do both. It's not an option, everybody will do both. But it's a lot of, not a lot, but they're short sprints. It's um, anyway, rowing, bikes, shoulder overhead, squats. On Wednesday, we're going to do um, two rep snatch and then an escalating, escalating ladder of um, one snatch, five chest to bar, two snatch, five chest to bar, three snatch, five chest to bar. Or if you do performance, it's snatches at a lighter weight and pull ups. And if you do fitness, it's power snatches and banded pull ups. But the banded pull ups are supposed to be challenging. For the fitness option, and it's only five pull-ups per time, per round, but I want you to make it to where even on the first set of five, it's a kind of a tough set of five. Hopefully it's a challenging set. Hopefully you don't just balance a knockout five. And hopefully by the second or third time you're on the bar doing your pull-ups, you might have to break up that set of five into two sets. Try to make it challenging. Try to push, push, push yourself and make it a little harder. On uh, Thursday, the team, the workout, the team workout is going to be some more biking, um, but very short. It's it's several rounds of biking, um, hang power snatches, and then front squats. And on Friday, we have an AMRAP of double unders and toes to bar and hang power cleans. That's your video for the week. See you, crush.